tiny horse. Nope. Oh, the nice give up. Sweets. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweets, man. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Yummy! Keisha, what sort of sweets are they? Acid bombers. <gasps> Is they strong? One suck could blow your head clean off. How nice. Now I know what you're thinking, Nutella. I doubt it. You're thinking, have I finished all the sweets <gasps> or have I got one left? No, I was actually thinking... To tell you the truth, in all this confusion, and also with my attention deficit disorder, I kind of lost count myself. Right. So, you have to ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? No. What is three plus five? Eight. Wicked! I just finished my maths homework. You can have my last sweet Nutella. Is all my teachers. I love them. They're so strong and handsome. Oh, look at that one. He's have the buttocks of an ox. Headmaster, who's the new guy? This? His name is Mr. Bib. He's no new. No, who's the other man? Oh, this man? This is Steve. Steve is journalist. He has read article about school. Hello. I'll take your dictation. Uh, can I see your column? I'll give you a front page splash. Uh, you can enter me on your laptop. <gasps> okay, day is finished. Now you might as well know, Steve is here to write article about me and about Mr. Bib, who I has introduced you to earlier. That's right. It's a piece for education now, called Heads and the Deputies. Oh, oh, typical. Don't worry, don't worry. I will get round to interviewing you all. Ha! <laughs> There's no need to talk to these queers. Hmm? And I mean queers in a good way. Like funny queers on TV. I is free. <laughs> to have another sweet, Keisha. And I want one too. I want my head to go all funny and my face to bleed. <laughs> 15,000 acid bombers, please. Acid bombers? You be lucky. They've been banned. What for? There were some dangerous medical side effects. Oh, well, just give us 20 BNH. This is political correctness gone mad. I demand dangerous sweets. Hey, if I sold you even one, they'd put me in prison. Good. I hope you die in prison. Keisha? Well, I do. Hmm. 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 Look, meet me around the back in five minutes. All right. I don't know if we should be doing deals with strange men in back alleys. Oh, come on, Nutella. Live a little. If you can take them off my hands, you can have them. All of them? Well, if you don't take them, I have to bury them at sea. Just remember this. Never eat more than one at a time. I just need to ask you one question. OK. If you're a newsagent, why aren't you Asian? Mm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm, yes. It's a good question, Steve. Let Iqbal tell you. When we take over school, it's bottom of every league tables, isn't it, Mr. Bib? Like a sleepy turd in the toilet bowl of British education. And where is it now? That's not issue! Hmm. Let's just say we have maintained our position for three years straight. Impressive. So, when did you take over the school? Hmm, let Iqbal think. Five years ago, I was in Parkhurst for a crime as commit. And I was in former Yugoslavia, uh -huh. on a caravan holiday. Right. Then I was escape, uh, don't mention that in article, and I was meet Mr. Bib in Angola where we is run successful diamond smuggle operation. And where we dabbled in the slave trade. Emphasize dabbled rather than slave trade. Slave trade. For administrative reason, we have to flee Africa. In a UN helicopter gunship. <laughs> Happy day. 
Uh, then I's run minicup company until I's win school in game of poker. Crikey. It's a real rags-to-riches story. Our readers are going to love it. Mm. Come and get your sweets. Sweet peas. <laughs> sweets. Sweets. They're dangerous. Sweets. Sweets. You could die. Sweets. Sweets. At the very least, you must definitely wet yourself. <laughs> popular girls in the school. And the richest, we pay £400. That means we're millionaires. Now remember, these sweets can be dangerous, so there's one thing you absolutely must remember about them, and I don't know what it is. Never eat more than one at once. That's it. <clears throat> Shit! Teachers, Kylie, eat them all at once. Oh. Oh. Jesus, Kylie, trust me. Oh. <clears throat> OK, girls, what are you doing? Nothing. Yeah, right, you three are always doing something. Well, not today. Day off. Uh, Kylie, are you smoking? <laughs> not even a little. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we totally got away with it. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Kylie's head exploded. Apart from that, we totally got away with it. OK, that's great. This is going on the front page, guys. Oh, hold on. He's look a bit gay. <clears throat> He's better. This'll be a beauty. He's not too gay. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing in this business. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I can't believe you leave your top on, you bender. Change. Man, I love being rich. I don't think it's right. We're only rich because we've been dealing dangerous sweets. So? So? Some kid says I've literally exploded because of our sweets. I just sell them. I ain't forcing no one to eat them. Except Kylie. What are we gonna do with all this money? I know. Let's build enormous statues of ourselves. Yeah! Look, we have a responsibility. No, a duty. To help these poor children, who've been hurt by our appalling greed and selfishness. Hmm. You know, Nutella, I never thought I'd hear myself say this. But on this occasion, you is absolutely, definitely, 100% gay! <laughs> 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 mm, nice picture. What a wanker. Ooh, according to these tables, our exam results were exemplary. If that's true, it's a bloody miracle. Oh, great. You finally get a miracle, and I miss the fucker. The reaction to our appearance in education now has been staggering, Headmaster. I've been asked to speak at the Geography Teachers' Annual Conference in Southampton. Wherever that is. <coughs> Mr. Bibb, I don't call me Headmaster. Now, as a famous celebrity, I'm going to have to protect my privacy. <coughs> Headmaster! Oh, oh, bloody shit cakes! It's a stalker! Call the cops! You can't let this magazine print a totally fictitious results table! Not without printing photographs of us next to it! Exactly! Where's our photos? Well, I'm glad I'm not in the paper. It's a meaningless distraction from the real business of this staff room, which is teaching kids. <laughs> <clears throat> now, can we get on with some marking in peace? Well, that's a shame, because the national press has picked up the story. They want to interview all of you. Wow! <laughs> We're going to be in the paper! Oh, wicked! Yeah, that doesn't impress me at all. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck, you showed too much of yourself there, Martin. Retain control. Hom. Yeah, no, no! No, not the locals, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the national press. And you thought I'd never amount to anything. Yeah, well, screw you, fuckface. Yeah, love to Dad. Stop! Those sweets are bad for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. 
Maybe Keisha and Latrina will realize the error of their ways and stop this madness. What? I said, maybe Keisha and Latrina will see the error of... What? Maybe not. What? Hmm. I was saying to the kids this morning, when you're using a saw, keep the teeth down. Are you Mr Phillips, the PE teacher? Could you spell that? <laughs> um, P -E -E -T -T teacher. P -E teacher. Yeah, there's definitely a place for Jesus in the classroom. Middle desk, front row, probably. <laughs> Because he's such a bloody goody-goody. This is more like it. National newspapers, not some poxy little trade mag like Education Now. Yeah, and that idiot Steve. I'll probably get interviewed by The Guardian. Yeah, well, I heard that The Mail wanted to speak to me. Or maybe The Independent. And The Mirror. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Where is Steve? Have you seen him? Yeah, he's completely disappeared. Oh, hi. Are you happy to talk about your teaching methods? Oh, yes, great. I think teaching is our most precious resource, and it's time we spread the word to the readership of the... Bromwell Gazette. Back off. So, the country's top headmaster at home. It must be hard work keeping the school uh, top of the class. How do you relax? I just take five minutes every day to recharge my batteries. Perhaps read the newspaper and have a lovely big wank. I enjoy doing the crossword puzzle. Obviously, I use a different newspaper. Mr Candala, my name's Leonora. I'm from the LEA. Oh, in Cape Canaveral? No. Oh, at last, Iqbal has realised dream of become an astronaut. The LEA runs the schools in the borough. It's a quango. You mean it is have the head and wings of an eagle, but the body of a lion? Why not? Uh, what's the secret of running a good school? It's all down to the teachers. If you can pay them peanuts and treat them like shit, everything else falls into place. Now, I was wondering if you might be interested in becoming a superhead. Mmm. Iqbal might be very interested. What does it mean? Well, a superhead is the toughest kind of teacher there is. In zoological terms, you're top of the food chain. Oh, Iqbal is uh, interested in zoology. And, of course, we have pots of cash to spare. Oh, Iqbal is interested in economics. So, putting two and two together... Oh, forget that Iqbal is not interested in maths. Hmm. Look, all you need to know is that superheads take home huge pay packets to turn failing schools around. Mm. Do you think you're up to it? Iqbal is promised he has tried his best to take home huge pay packets. The other bit I'm not too sure about. OK, ladies, let's get your beautiful faces in the paper. Ooh, you can click my button. Hey, why don't you give me a flash and we'll see what develops? I'll swallow your developing fluid. Yeah, well done, Carol, because that would kill you. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey? Oh, uh, you're supposed to be photographing us. Oh. Not looking at the smoking child. <laughs> oh, my God! That child's head just exploded. <laughs> and there's another one. I'll give you explosive head. I'll inflame your... your... Look, I'm sorry, the photo's off. I could have a real scoop on my hands here. How would you like two real scoops on your hands, yeah? <laughs> oh, asses. And then he started taking pictures of all the burning children. That's right. Kids' heads are exploding all over the school. So, some kid's head has explored. It's no problem. Great! I knew you'd know what to do. If you let me finish, hmm? it's no problem because I will be far away in my new job by the time this story <laughs> blows up. <laughs> Very amusing, Headmaster. Yeah, it's a big joke. 
Headmaster, did you know that children's heads are exploding in your playground? I'm the headmaster's press secretary. Please direct all inquiries through me. Do you have anything to say in response to the charges? Yeah, go fuck your mother. No comment. <laughs> oh, bloody shit kicks! This could be on the front page of every paper in the land, and I could lose cushy new job. Oh, of all the days children's heads can explode, they pick this one. Don't worry, Headmaster. Someone is obviously bringing acid bombers into school. I will assemble a crack team of inspectors to track down the sweet suppliers. The search starts now and will continue through the night. Let's kill this story right now. Or the sweet suppliers, whichever's easiest. The night? You mean after school? If you can imagine such a thing. Huh, good luck. Hmm. Thank you. Any volunteers? I'm a good tracker. Not you. I could track you down. You wouldn't even know it. No. Come on, I'm looking for two brave men. Oh, that's typical. Brave men. A woman would be just as good. Excellent. A volunteer has fallen into my trap. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> oh, you fell for his bitch trap. Oh, Martin, you do it for me. Oh, but it's location, location, location tonight. Do you want me to wear a rubber mask during sex again? I'll do it. And one more. Ah, Gavin, we were just arguing over where God lives. Oh, come on, everyone. He lives up there. Excellent. Martin and Gavin it is. You're over there somewhere. The press are on to you. They know about the exploding heads. It's just a matter of time before they find out who is behind it all. So what is we do? Don't worry. I is hide the sweets. Where is you hide them? Somewhere that no one would never find them in a billion years. Like where? The only clue to where they eat is a riddle I've written. Oh, 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 I love riddles. <laughs> it's take you a million years to work it out. Try us. Okay. <clears throat> if it is the sweets you seek, into the cloakroom you must sneak. And look for where I keep my books and hang my coat and bag on hooks. Behind the metal mm. door is stone. Mm. The sweets will make your head explode. <laughs> Solve that. They're in your locker. Yes. That's an obvious hiding place. Ah, but is it? Yes. Oh. You have to get rid of them now before another head explodes. Let's move them after the next lesson. What's our next lesson? <clears throat> Across the channel lies a land whose words we fail to understand. Ah, oh, French. Double chemistry. said you have information. I know where the sweets are hidden. You must tell me. I am in danger if I tell you the truth. I would never reveal my source. Oh, you can reveal your source all over me. I'll be a deep throat. <laughs> oh, well, that's imaginative. Oh, get off. Oh, Carol, you're an idiot. I'm really hard. Oh, shut up. I'm sick of I'll you. I'll take that thing off your voice. Don't pinch my breast. Oh, no, I can't help. I can't even find your breasts. Very bad. No one will ever think of looking behind the back sheds. Mm, sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm tracking some sweets. You girls know anything about them? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> they can't be far away. Keisha, is your thing we are doing a bad thing? That is depend on what you mean by thing. What is the use of all this money when all your friends' heads is blowed up? Mm. And you've already built a big statue of yourself. Mm. OK, you win. Let's go stick a banger up a cat's ass. Yeah! 
We'll never find anything behind the bike sheds. <laughs> what you got there? Fireworks. Uh, they look like sweets to me. I think we might just have found our illegal quarry. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Can I play? The school's stuffed with sweet junkie kids and a main deal as a teacher. This is going to be huge. OK, let's roll. Actually, that's really good shit. Penny for the guy, mister. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say jeez. <laughs> the entire paper's full of the story and there's still no picture of me. Today is sad and happy day for Iqbal. Sad because I lose promotion to Superhead because of school's drug scandal. And happy because some TV journalist is dead. They're not drugs, they're only sweets. There were allegorical similarities which the LEA could not ignore. Yeah, theirs have zero tolerance anti allegory policy. I have identified the pupils who have shamed the school and they will be punished in the usual way. Extra homework, detention, and the destruction of all images associated with their presidential cult. <laughs> So, it's all back to normal, Headmaster. I is not understand why you is stand by me, Mr. Bib. when I is just want to go off and be Superhead and leave you here to rot. A Deputy Head's first loyalty is to his head teacher. That's why I'll always back you to the hilt. Hmm. It's not because you is poof. No. <laughs> Man. Illegally dealing and exploding sweets ain't as much fun as it sounds. At least they is all gone now. Yeah. I just kept one box to remind humanity never to make that same mistake again. I hope it is somewhere safe, Keisha. Nutella, even if someone did find them, no one would be stupid enough to eat them. <laughs> <laughs>